good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I'm Presmal, and today we're playing some more epic auto towers, and I'm going to try something. We're doing essential level two, because I feel like it. Bear storm. No, I don't really... Do I want the bear? Not really. It could have been really good. It could have been really good. But there's a build idea that I want to mess around with, right? Buff that up. There is a build idea that I want to mess around with. I kind of like made it succeed a few times, but I want to see if I can optimize like what the build is, right? Because like that's the main thing for me is can I make this build as good as possible in the right ways? Like, is there multiple setups to it? Can I lead to it? Can I can I min max as much as possible? And that is kind of the plan here. So you can kind of. <laughs> Already probably get an idea of like what I'm trying to go for. Just for the fact of what towers I'm buying. The good news is like getting the forge on this setup early is just insane, right? It makes such a massive difference across the whole game, and we will buff ourselves with the opportunity. Um let's buff up the thief, thief tower as well instead of re-rolling. And hope we get more mosquitoes and can, you know, have fun with that. That is another part of the combo. And I guess we're going to put that there. And then we're just like one more tower away and we're pretty much set up. Will we get that one tower? Who knows, right? Who knows? Um, I'll take gold here, because I want to be able to re-roll and get the specific things I need. So that and that can go in there. We can re-roll, get the mosquito. Is that worth buying now? Yeah. Starts buffing this up. The main thing with the frog, it's not there to kind of actually buff up. It's there to kind of just give me more, more mosquito switches. Uh, a weird notion. And there's our B, which is kind of the one thing we wanted. We'll actually no, we won't buff the B up just yet. Because we might get like other stuff that could be more buffable or more useful. And spending gold is more of you know it's better to spend the gold on actual stuff that will progress rather than just uh, buffing up the stuff that doesn't. But the Mosquito, I want to basically play around its annoyance and treat it like a Cerberus Tower. <laughs> Is essentially the, the way we're going to go here. And we're going to put that there. Just because that is the best play at the moment. Every single time. Doesn't matter what it is. Buffing up the honey to buff up the Mosquito Tower early is the way we want to go. Until we have enough rerolls and money to basically spend it however we want, right? So, yeah, relate, relation to the Cerberus Tower. Um, the Mosquito, because it has annoyance, basically means that the first attack it takes, essentially, is going to be four times, right? It's like the Cerberus Tower, but instead of it being building up to, you know, just do the damage more often at every hit, it does it just once, but more hits. So, yeah. <laughs> I am... Ooh, that's really good. This is, we have Cerberus at home. <laughs> I mean, the fact that this is already now at um, basically five times damage is pretty much already winning the game, right? There's no way that this doesn't win us the game already by itself. Um, I'll hold on to that until we get down to like anything else. Buff this up so we can get more honeys in theory. Get one more honey, that'd be very useful. Eh, didn't get anything else, so we'll buff this one instead. So, the flower tower is essentially our, um, like, in, in this build, like, when the gale, that's really good. Actually, hmm. Power up token is really good for that just burst, but this is better for that sort of, like, continuous scaling. Although, like, once you get to a certain point, this doesn't really matter. Gold is really good, but I don't need gold anymore. 
And yeah, any of these we don't really care about. Um, we do care about, like, once the Forge Tower is kind of useless, but for now, not so much, right? And where are we putting this? Um, well, to be honest, I would like to put it on the Flower Tower, but the Mosquito is the thing that does the damage, so it goes on the Mosquito. <laughs> like, that token on the Mosquito by itself is already winning us the game. Um... Actually, two tokens like that is so good once the Mosquito gets leveled up, right? We're buffing the bees as much as possible. The first one, honey, always goes on the Mosquito. Like, that is the main plan, right? No nothing else kind of beats putting that on the Mosquito. The second honey you get, though, says, wait, waiting for that second honey. <laughs> Fifty percent chance, right? Another flower, that's fine. I'll, that'll do. That'll do. Ooh, and even another, another tower, which I can't use. Uh, one more roll. Can't use anything here. Fine game, fine more. So yeah, it, I'm getting like plus six or plus seven now for a turn when I get a honey. If the second honey goes here, I will buff this honey instead, because it helps with the scaling. The immediate effect, though, is to get this above a certain threshold, which is kind of like the whole plan. While we're doing that, though, I will start to think about actually buffing this up. Mm -hmm. Fine. You think an extra hit is an extra 50 hit, right? You'll remember that as well. more gold. But yeah, th this is kind of what I've been messing around with, right? <laughs> this is what I've been messing around with. Uh, that's just a free upgrade. And I really do like the build. Like, quite a lot. Here we go. So we can start doing this now. So this starts scaling the flower a little bit, which then give more buffs to this, which will help scale everything else, right? And that's kind of like the whole point of what I'm trying to do. And then like even if they do get through the annoyance, this will actually still like do other stuff. Ooh, more flower. Eventually I won't need anything else. The frog upgrading is completely pointless now as well. Ooh, I forgot about this. Yeah, plus 10, plus 10, and increase the stats by, you know, 10% 10, uh, 10 as well. So we'll wait for that until we start like losing. No point in spending it straight away. I want to get max value out of it, right? More honey. There we go. The main thing the Forge Tower is here for is just that sort of early pump up. Because now, like, even buffing the honey to a five, a plus five, plus five is the same as me using the Forge on it now, right? Because it's just 20%. So it's always better to buff this side than it is this side now, regardless of what ends up happening. Do it again. And that's literally it. Yeah, everything else then we spend the gold is literally just to uh, basically buff other stuff. Eventually the forge becomes useless because this will just um, you know, not increase to the same rate anymore. And then yeah, we just kind of like worry about other things. <laughs> but yeah, I've messed around with this build like so much and I absolutely love it. Getting the mosquito leveled up again is always a good idea. Um, I would like another honey, so I will try and roll for that. There we go. And then we'll buff the other honey. We'll give this plus four, plus four. It gets plus seven, plus seven, and it gets absorbed. So, like, yeah, messing around with this type of style of play is kind of more interesting to me. And using the flower to give double buffs, because eventually what ends up happening in, like, most honey runs, I've noticed, is that... You end up having enough honey to not worry about, you know, actually having to have honey, right? Like, it still scales and stuff, but you either don't need it anymore, or you have too much of it and don't know what to do with it. This just allows some fun scaling and being like, ah, oh, look, I can, like, <laughs> one-shot stuff with a mosquito that takes, like, seven hits to kill. 
Yeah, that's already max level, so we don't really need to spend any more like mosquitoes into it. So this is kind of the bit where I'd probably end up like looking to remove the mosquitoes. And also kind of like maybe changing the uh, honey towers out for something else. I mean, the, the, the forge tower, right? Token-wise, I mean, for the game, I really enjoy it, but there is one token I would like to exist that doesn't quite exist, right? And the one token I would like to have is a replacement token. It's a token that will take a tower stack and move it to somewhere else, right? Because positioning is quite big in this game, and eventually you don't need to have that positioning anymore. Or sometimes it's like it would be more beneficial if you swap stuff around in a particular way. So like having me the ability to move this to an empty slot and then start building up another mosquito could be more enjoyable. You know, just it's food for thought on like other improvements to the game or things where it make, make, makes the game a bit more interesting. Because like not being able to move your towers around after you place them is kind of like really frustrating. But given the ability for you to kind of like, actually, you know what, maybe you can start moving it around in different places, would be the solution to that, right? Yeah, we're still buffing this one at the moment. <laughs> there you go, Mosquito, you deal with everything. Oh my god, got it again. Yeah, I can give it one more annoyance, why not, you know? <laughs> just insane. Or do we just get them? There's no point going for the gold because you don't really use it. So, do I just hit the buff? I mean, the buff is pretty good and it does help scale. It's an extra 5 per turn. Or if I use it on the flower. Or. Gain more annoyance. Stuff it, let's gain another annoyance. Onto the mosquito. Have another annoyance game. that on there for the last time and we did get it so goodbye you hello oh what oh, i bought that didn't I? okay <laughs> but yeah build a tower or princess the two that i would have liked to go in there but i don't have the infinite scaling so if we build a tower it is right but that's my bad i gonna kind of make that up um i do have one uncommon so you get to go in there Um, upgrade the bees as much as possible. They are max level now. We can't uh, do anything else, so we'll just leave it. And this is kind of the one where it's like, once you get to this phase, um, the interesting part of like how this build functions kicks in. Princess, don't need the princess. So I do want the other defender, though. So we'll do that. I want to upgrade this first, more than anything else, because that's just, like, better overall. More game. Flower is fine, I guess. I'll put check a bear in, just so we have one. Could have put the bear there, but something else needs to go there. Well, it technically doesn't have to go there, but the bear is here for, like, other bonuses, right? Flower tower, why not at this point? There we go, honey. Cool. Another flower. <laughs> uh, getting the flowers is kind of insane. Okay, we've got that there. There's no point rerolling to get one of you know this leveled up anyway. But more bears be useful because you get double the buffs. Right, so the bear now just gains like stats over time. Is there a sort of a defense mechanism? Like if this ends up failing terribly, which it will, which it will. Um, we'll reroll these here first. That goes there, that goes there. And same with defender towers, that they're just that backup. Because that way I can like make the use out of them as well. And we'll do this again, just so we can get this one at level two. We're getting to level two, so the fact they will survive the um, end game boss at this level.
And this is why we have the defender towers as early as possible, because the amount of hits this ends up taking is kind of hilarious, right? Like I said before, the only thing that makes this even better is if I could have um, ignored all the bees now. Because that would guarantee me honeys every single time that they rolled. Which just makes everything like so much better and easier. Okay, so we'll roll this here, get that up. So yeah, these seem like, uh, you know... Level 2 gives them plus 3 damage permanently, which is what we're looking for. The plus 8 is irrelevant, because, like, well, I, well, it's not really irrelevant. It really does help with the current level. But, yeah, the main thing is, is they start stacking really well. Honey straight away, that's brilliant. Another flower. More honey. And I, like, I, I, that, at this point, I don't know what I'm rolling for, so, yeah. Like, eventually, like, this will get big enough to, like, start one-shotting or two-shotting stuff again, so I don't need to worry about my defense. And that's kind of, like, what's so funny about this. Like, every single time I kind of, like, run through having more and more honey, the better this build ends up getting. There's a bear. Another flower. How many times game am I going to lose this uh, random roll? There we go. Upgrade to the bear. So the bear now stays. It's brilliant. Ah, there we go. And like, like, that is generally the fun of this build overall, is the fact that like I will consistently keep scaling everything. And what happens, the bear now eats both of the honeys when they go off, so that's just like, even more fun. Is this build like, like particularly broken or stuff like that? No, but I think once the setup's ready to go, I think it can be, right? You just need enough economy to warrant the re-rolls and maybe like chucking in a, uh, a dice tower while doing this like getting a dice tower stacked up would be really good right like a fully d stacked dice tower here or something like that but that's the ability is the fact there's a bit of variance like once you've got this build set up and then like even if you've got like the other tower um the aspirant towers allow you to um, like increase the level cap, so this just gets more annoyance, which is then even more funny, right? <laughs> Come on, honey. There we go. Finally, like. I could roll like 20 times and still not land on the honey at 70% chance just to roll into a one of the two. <laughs> They're feeding by the mosquito. There we go, one cold cost less. So this is where I would have gone like for the, like, the reduction as well. Made everything completely cheap as chips is the other one. You know, there's ways to go around it, right? So now like the towers got destroyed. Um, if we want to like buff up, we could have had this set up already. You know, which I'll put one in, why not? There's one honey, put that in there. There's a flower tower, which just gives us gold now as well. There we go. Yeah, but, you know, the mosquito build. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a build where I've kind of there we go look at that oh that's brilliant just take that token while we've got it here the next bee gets like completely removed um, milk goes on this because it just will develop the stats better and then we'll build this guy back up again you watch it I'll never get a bee now although yeah we need to um, invest in having mosquito leveled up 
Oh, there we go, bees, finally. Bye, bees. Got the other bear, which I was disappointed I didn't get to keep, but... Yeah, and then, like, but the bear will start overtaking the mosquito in the just raw stats, which is kind of, like, the other effect of it. Like, you start, like, scaling into that late game. That will put you down just in more money. So it is kind of worthwhile. Take it back. Uh, one more roll. I did get lucky, cool. So this bear just gains, gains like, you know, the like 120 worth of stats by itself every turn. It's like, why wouldn't I just keep scaling it as much as possible? But like I said, it's not the most overpowered build, right? It's just a build idea. I was thinking to myself, hang on a minute, I can make the use of the flower and honey blocks like more efficiently by doing stuff this way. More gold, please. And like nothing actually will be needed other than uh, <laughs> Oh we can upgrade the thief, why not? Have ha, ha, I can have more money there. There we go, we'll leave it now. So does the bear get to a thousand? Not quite. <laughs> Didn't even get through the mosquito. <laughs> But this kind of is the, the kind of the, the, the proper swamp build, in my opinion. You know, <laughs> bees, flowers, frog, mosquitoes, honey. <laughs> but it, yeah, I, you know, I, I just wanted something a bit more interesting than just the sort of standard builds that you have um, across the board. And I felt like it just does a lot more in the sense of like once you get set up you have that infinite scaling and you know maybe one day i can try this again and we can just see how far we get maybe i'd like to do a stream at some point with that if i ever get the free time to it again in a bit but yeah much of the interesting build on that again if you do enjoy these videos do leave a like subscribe to see more and i'll see you all in the next one take care